In Cambodia, sex trafficking laws and raid and rescue policies funded and promoted by international aid organizations harm adult voluntary sex workers and their impoverished families. Not enslaved in brothels, not controlled by pimps, the 6,400 members of the Women's Network for Unity, WNU, demand the right to earn money to support their families. They are not victims. They do not want to be rescued. When brothels, massage and entertainment spaces are closed in police raids, there are no safe spaces left to work. The sex service industry is driven underground. This makes it harder to run HIV and trafficking prevention programs and harder to do advocacy work with sex workers. Instead, WNU members say the Cambodian government, along with aid organizations that supply half the country's annual budget, need to improve the economy, job prospects and human rights for sex workers. Why is there such a focus on training female sex workers to sew? We wish governments, NGOs, labor unions and donors would seriously address workers' rights and facilitate women in different fields where they can actually earn a living wage. To truly address human trafficking and sexual abuse, we must address the root cause the neoliberal capitalist structures that are harming Cambodia, structures that create poverty. For example, privatization takes away our rights to healthcare, education and clean water. It creates drastic inequality in society. WNU members ask that people who give money to rescue organizations, non-governmental organizations, NGOs, charities and churches demand changes to the trafficking policies before they donate. Sex workers ask foreign governments and international donors to make sure their dollars address the real problems. The movie, Sex Workers Cry Rights Not Rescue in Cambodia, tells the stories of these impoverished people who do sex work to survive. They need jobs to feed their families. They want to be heard. Bye.